So if you've ever had the joy of having to install hinges, no doubt you've had to battle with these damn little holes that for some reason you can't get the screw to go in there straight. Because what happens is if you look real close, you got a little taper edge, that little bevel that's right on the inside. What that does is it lets the screw drop in so it's flush. Okay, so it's all nice and neat so it doesn't get caught up in the door or the toy box or whatever the heck it is that you're building. Okay, so it has to drop in there. But what happens is sometimes you're pre-drilling, okay, you got your drill bit going in there and you hit some funny looking grain, okay. If you work with, say, like Southern Yellow Pine, you know that there's the really, really soft grain, the lighter stuff, and the really harder, or the much harder grain, the darker stuff, okay? If you hit that just right, it's going to take your screw and it's going to go boop, all right? It's going to really screw up your day because all of a sudden your hinges are going to start moving. And if you get a couple of misaligned hinges, guess what? Your door or your cabinet is not opening properly, and that's a giant pain in the ass, okay? So... How can you counter this? Well, obviously, you're still going to be pre-drilling, okay? But there's a little tool that you can use that's going to make your life a little bit easier. Let me show you. This little guy right here, okay? Now, you will still be chucking this inside your drill, and you're going to be using it to drill your holes. Now, what exactly does it do? Well, this thing is a spring-loaded drill guide thing, okay? What it does is, you look right inside there, all right, there is the drill bits, okay? And it has this collar around it, this little sleeve, and check it out, it is spring-loaded, okay? So, what is going to happen is you're going to line this up to your hinge, okay? And if you notice, you get a little taper right at the top, it matches the little taper right inside the hinge, okay? So, check it out. You line it up just like that, and boom, right in the center of the hole, okay? Once that's in there, you turn your drill on, and that thing starts spinning, and bloop, it comes out right in the center of the hole, okay? Now, obviously, if you're drilling in like this, it's going to be a really stupid-looking hole. It's not going to work properly, okay? So make sure you're drilling straight in, okay? Now, it is one more step, okay, but it will save a ton of headache and heartache and butt hurt at the end if you get those holes in there properly, okay? Now, what well, you know, I have really smaller hinges and that big one's not going to work properly. Well, that's the cool thing. You can get them in a set, okay? They come in different sizes, okay? This little guy right here, sorry in comparison, all right, is going to be for smaller hinges, something like this that you might be using on, say, a toy box or a cabinet or something like that, all right? Versus the big hinge like that, okay? They are a few dollars, but they are well, well worth it, okay? Um, so, go to the home center. Normally, you can buy, I think I bought just this one by itself. Um, it was like maybe 4 or $5, something like that. Um, most of them are going to have the little speed chuck lock-in thing here. All right, the little section right there. So, it just like, you know, goes in with speed and, you know, that's all set up and ready to go. Um... But definitely, 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 if you're going to be doing some hinge work or even handles on, say, like, you know, the side of the toy box, you still have to pre-drill all those holes to make sure that everything is lined up properly, all right? Because, again, I cannot stress what a giant pain in the ass it is to have one of those, one of those hinge holes move, and all of a sudden something twists, something comes out of alignment, okay? And then whatever you're working on is not turning out properly, okay? So, anyway... Get yourself a set of these things. They are well, well worth the investment, okay? Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, or groans, leave them down below, all right? Make sure that, uh, obviously, you thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like the video, I'm cool with that, too. And uh, also, check out the Facebook page. It is uh, Project Woodworks, Facebook, something. Uh, you'll, you'll find the link down below. I'll, I'll put all that stuff in there. And uh, also, I'll see if I can uh, find a couple different vendors we can uh, buy this. Um, Lowe's, Home Depot, Woodcraft, um, you know, places like that are definitely, definitely going to have uh, heavy little gems. All right. Thanks for watching.